What's going on people? The last few weeks we've been doing quite a lot of events and training sessions and working with teams. Generally, just to get out there and put our name about and generally just to meet people. So that's what this video is about, is the importance of doing stuff for free. People sometimes say they don't want to do stuff because they don't want to do it for free. But then they moan about not having enough either like money or clients or members or um, whatever your industry is, just not enough of it. So that's why I thought I'd do a video on the importance of doing stuff for free. So we worked last week with the Warwick Uni team. We went and did it all for free. It took me four or five hours of my day. Went and planned it and took the male and female, about 30 of them through uh, a conditioning session all for free. We then later on that day I drove all the way over to Southam to train the the, the girls, the football team, the girls football team, um, a spin class and a Metacron class. The jump is stand up and then back down. Again we did that for free. Then at the weekend we then when actual fact I had to pay for this we went to Warwick Regatta and we uh, took rowing machines down there and we did like a, a rowing competition, an erg competition. Yes, James! Yes, James! Come on! Legs down! Legs down! There we go! For them to get their um, rowers and to get the, the spectators involved in something, ran a little competition and gave away prizes, gave away membership, but again, we did that from seven, eight in the morning through to five at night, all for free. Nothing has come from that yet, but I'm sure stuff will, but it gave us the chance to talk to people, and it gave us the chance to get our brand out there and meet people that potentially may be interested in buying our services, or may be interested in joining the gym. Do more stuff for free. Don't look to be getting paid for everything you do. Obviously, you can't work for free all the time, but if you've got spare hours in the day and you have the opportunity to go meet people or, or practice what you preach, do it. The time's going to pass anyway. You're better off going and talking and working with somebody, which may eventually lead to something. It may not lead to anything, but it may lead to something. I've had a lot of things now that I've done for free and I've made good money and I've got a decent amount of members or clients from, from a free event from going on and paying to be at an event in actual fact or renting a stand at something or training a group of people. Because like I said earlier, the time does pass and I'd rather be doing something with my time than sitting on my ass twiddling my thumbs when I could be out there networking, mingling and just helping people get better. Because remember, if you solve people's problems, then that's when the financial side improves massively if you are a problem solver. We solve problems here by helping you get from not fit to fit or helping you lose weight or helping you get stronger or just being there for you, making you accountable for your actions. That's how we solve problems. So if I can go out into the streets or if I can go to events or I can meet people and show them how fitness works myself and my trainers can help solve their problems, then if it's not instantly, it may be in a few weeks when they really get kind of down about that aspect and they know that we can fix it, the first people they're gonna to come to is me. So that is my little tip for today. Do more stuff for free. Do not try and get paid for everything because free can sometimes help you a lot more than taking 15 pounds or 20 pounds for a free little session, which like I said, the time's gonna pass anyway. Hope that makes sense and I hope you kind of can see what I was, I was getting at there. That's my little LinkedIn video for today. Have a wonderful day. Peace.